Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the define phase of Six Sigma, the first step in the DMAC process. Define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. Whether you're a beginner or looking to refresh your knowledge, understanding this phase is crucial for successful project outcomes. Let's get started. The define phase sets the foundation for your Six Sigma project. It involves clearly defining the problem, project goals, and customer requirements. With a solid start, improvements will be practical, so this phase is vital. To begin with, identify the problem you're trying to solve. Gather your team and work collaboratively to pinpoint the issue. To map out the process and clarify the scope, you might use tools like a SIPOC diagram for suppliers, inputs, processes, outputs, and customers. Next, define the project's goals. What are you hoping to achieve? This could be anything from reducing cycle time to improving product quality. Make sure your objectives are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound, often called SMART goals. Another critical step is understanding the voice of the customer or VOC. Gathering feedback from customers helps you focus on what truly matters to them. This could involve surveys, interviews, or focus groups, ensuring customer needs and expectations are captured. Creating a project charter is essential during the defined phase. This document outlines the problem statement, project goals, scope, timeline, and roles and responsibilities. It's a roadmap that keeps the team aligned and guides the project from start to finish. Remember stakeholder analysis. Identifying stakeholders and their interests will help manage expectations and secure buy-in. Regular communication with stakeholders keeps them updated and engaged throughout the project. Finally, it's essential to consider the financial impact. Perform a cost-benefit analysis to understand the project's potential return on investment. This analysis can justify the project and ensure resources are allocated wisely. And that's the define phase in a nutshell. By taking the time to define your project thoroughly, you're setting yourself up for success in the later phases of Six Sigma. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with others who might find it useful. This is Kevin from Infiniline. Stay tuned for more insights into Six Sigma and process improvement. See you soon.